Yo, 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 yo. What is up, guys? It's your boy Apti back with a brand new tip video. Now, with Cold War being released, obviously, you guys want to know the movement tips, the movement trips, tricks in this game. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be showing you all the good stuff. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So, today, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. We're going to be playing a bot lobby of Hardpoint on Moscow. Because Moscow is a great map to demonstrate a lot of these movement tricks and tips for you guys so we're gonna be breaking down the video in pretty much two different categories wow these guys are on recruit so they're very easy <laughs> to shoot and kill we're gonna be talking about movement basically to maneuver around the map right like move around the map kind of how you want to you know go around faster on the map all those things and then we're gonna be talking about movement on how to engage in certain gunfights if you guys absolutely love this video and would love to see some more tip videos as always make sure to leave a like and subscribe so for the first tip when it comes to maneuvering around the map now i know a lot of you guys probably played black ops 3 maybe some of black ops 4 and something that is actually pretty damn good in this game is ledge sliding ledge sliding does take a little bit of practice sometimes to like hit it perfectly and do it in the right spots on the map but the more you play the game the more you realize it's actually quite easy to do and you will figure out that there's a lot of spots on the map and you can ledge slide so anything well basically let me first explain what a ledge slide is a ledge slide basically is going on top of something that kind of has an ending to it so like a like a just any object that you're kind of above and you slide off it and then you can even do a second slide after that that's the advanced ledge slide so let's say i'm a slide slide again and then i go so the it's a two time it's a two slide basically what's going to be faster you know me doing this or me doing this wow that was easily probably cut the time in half there so you can ledge slide on a lot of things and uh, the thing you want to kind of avoid though is try not to auto mantle things to ledge slide because obviously it takes a little bit of time to you know auto mantle things and mantle on top of things but you can basically ledge slide on a lot of things and let me show you for example right here um you can obviously slide off this fountain like this the reason i am out on this part of the map is because i want to demonstrate this also slide off spawn and the reason ledge slides are good it can take you if you're playing search and destroy if you're trying to go rush somewhere and get there quicker well ledge sliding is your best friend so you have to jump you have to time it too because if you don't time it right then you're just gonna miss and it's actually gonna mess you up because you don't want to accidentally jump and like mantle it you want to actually slide off it just like this bang and so that's ledge sliding now to talk about the next thing is sliding down ramps and slopes now i don't know if you guys know but anything that goes down you kind of build momentum going going down it so if you slide low down the slope you actually go a lot faster down it so like here slide off here and you slide down a lot of, a lot faster the perfect example right here is top escalators show you very quickly instead of running like this took me about two seconds you do this and that was basically a second so a lot of these tips and movement tricks cuts down the time almost in half or in half and it's very very beneficial to you and helps you get to places faster so slide down this another another staircase slide down the staircase and the reason it's actually kind of good as well is because when you do you can challenge someone like this so let's say you think it's here slide down and challenge you have so much momentum and you're fast that you're gonna catch them off guard so just try to always remember that always try to remember as you're running around the map look hit a ledge slide right here now, so that's like a smaller ledge slide it's not it's not that high up slide up the stairs go down here slide off it keep running this is an example of like you don't really want to mantle this to slide off at that point you would have did the same time just running there nothing top escalators okay i'm gonna slide down it because it's faster Bang. now for the last tip when it comes to maneuvering around the map we're going to be talking about slide canceling now obviously you can sprint around the map and sprinting is actually very good in this game and the sprint off time is very good and effective but slide canceling is another way to kind of a, a run around the map because you're able to you know kind of use the movement to maybe miss make the missed shots you're able to kind of evade um go to, you know kind of like run away for example i'm gonna go here slide 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 and the big thing about the slide cancels like in modern warfare it was actually resetting your sprint so you're able to continuously sprint with it 
but you can still slide cancel because it is pretty good in this game not but it's not really good to like challenge people it's it's better to just evade and like kind of run around and run away now before we advance to the next part which is engaging and using movement to get into gunfights and winning them i'm gonna explain really quickly how to slide cancel because i didn't really do that so to slide cancel you want to slide slide jump slide slide jump or slide slide x slide slide x slide slide x so basically what happens here is you're sliding you slide again to basically stop your slide and you press x to stand up if you just slide an x your guy's just gonna jump slide x slide x you don't want to do that you want to slide slide x slide slide x that way your body is still on the floor and you're able to react or you know just adjust accordingly uh to the person or to the gunfight versus you know actually doing this wait hold up doing this it's like awkward you know it's awkward when you jump in this game now moving on with the slide canceling, uh, this is all. It's, it's, it's another way of engaging the gunfights with the slide cancel, but in a different way. So obviously around the map you have head glitches everywhere. You have this, this, this. You have head glitches here. Basically a head glitch is somewhere where you can only see your head, right? Or at least almost most of your head or shoulders. So you can play a head glitch here. This is a head glitch. It makes them. It makes it a lot harder for people to kill you when you're in this head glitches, but. In Call of Duty, and I don't know if recently or what it is, but people are getting better at killing people off head glitches, and it could be because the weapons have no recoil, or I don't know what it is exactly, but sometimes it is kind of still easy. It's like a 50 50 gunfight. What you can do to ha make you have the advantage is slide into the gunfight. So let me pop an armor plate right now. So, perfect example, and I do this in Search and Destroy when I rush uh, this area right here. Notice how this is a head glitch. A lot of people tend to come right here and kind of like pre-aim here wide and kind of like get the pre-aim advantage. So instead of me just doing this, just like kind of running up to here, right? And then aiming in, he's going to be pre-aiming me. I'm going to be pre-aiming him. At this point, it's like a 50-50 gunfight. Maybe, you know, it's just whoever maybe hits her with that one extra shot. Instead, what I will do is instead of just doing this, I'm going to slide cancel, slide, slide, jump, and then pop up and kill him. I can even do a wide slide cancel like this. And that way, he's not going to be able to react quick enough because he's anticipating me maybe to be here. All of a sudden, I'm over here and I'm going to peek up like out of nowhere and I should be able to catch him off guard and get the kill. It makes that gunfight from 50 50 to like a 60 40, 65 35. Now for the last tip, and it's a very, very Our quick tip for you guys. For the last Checking tip to engage in gunfights movement-wise. Now, a lot of you guys know drop shot is basically useless in this game. Um, you can drop shot hit fire, but it's just not that good. Um, you can't really aim in and drop shot unless you have the attachment that I currently have right now. But even then, the drop shot speed is very low. So drop shotting in this game is pretty chalk. It's pretty bad. It's almost not even worth doing. You can still jump shot in this game. Obviously, you can jump shot. There's no bunny hop, which recipes bunny hop because I love you. But there's you can still jump shot in this game, and jump shotting still is actually quite good. Now, in the beta, it was a little bit clunky. It felt like your shots were so much worse when you're shooting uh, mid-air. But it seems like in the actual game, they fixed it a little bit. It's not amazing, but it's not horrible. So there are certain gunfights where you can still hit a nice little jump shot. Um, obviously, jump shotting is basically, you know, jumping around a corner or a mid gunfight, kind of shooting someone that's like jumping mid air, mid gunfight. Um, it, I will say it's better to use a jump shot more like close ish to medium range. Um, very far, usually you don't want a jump shot. It's going to mess up your shot versus just trying to actually beam the guy like that. And before we end the video, a quick secret tip for you guys. And this is something that was used in the beta a decent amount, but I guess with the nerfing to the slide. Uh, people don't do it as much, but it's still pretty cool for you guys to know and if you guys ever want to do it in your own gameplay There is actually a jump slide challenge So basically the way to do this movement is you're gonna want to sprint jump slide jump aim in and this This movement can be really good like around a corner So basically doing this and it's like a fast like kind of like a super slide kind of like an MW slide But not as good, but it's still like it can catch them off guard a little bit um, obviously if like a long range gunfight unless you have like an AR you don't really want to do that with a sub It can be really good to catch people like who are pretty close and you know challenge them So very quickly before we end this video and remember sprint jump slide jump sprint jump slide jump 
and aiming obviously to shoot after that you got to do all these things once you understand kind of how to do it you realize you know what's actually pretty good and can actually get you some gunfights wins here and there so make sure to like the video if you learned something could comment down below what other tip videos you would like to see i'm actually quite interested in that subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share it guys i hope you actually and really enjoyed it we're going to be doing some more in the near future i hope you all have a wonderful day a wonderful night much love and respect apathy is out peace